2020 was supposed to be a banner year, a year now defined by a global pandemic. The NBA is suspending the season. MLB spring training, NHL regular season, March Madness canceled. It will forever be known as the day sports shut down. While sports across the globe go dark, Dana White says the show will go on for UFC. Why is Dana White comfortable continuing? Dana White is somebody with a flawed intelligence. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. More doubts this should even be attempted. There's still a medical danger here. Really negligent decision making to make a buck. There was an article in the New York Times today that was very critical. I don't give a fuck. It seems dangerous and it seems foolish. There's no way to make a sporting event safe. There's no way to 100% guarantee the safety of everybody. We don't dictate the timeline. The virus is the one in charge here. This isn't something that should be happening. So many risks involved in this. There's no way they come out of this completely unscathed. This whole damn idea is reckless. Dana White's legacy? Pay me, even if I put you in serious and potentially fatal harm. Lining your pockets with money is yeah. more important than the safety of the production staff and the people you have fighting for you. You can't make it totally safe, and it's all fun and games until someone gets this thing. You're not listening. It is purely green. This is totally negative for mixed martial arts in the UFC, and I'm not sure it's one that they'll get over for a while. Dana's way off here, way wrong. The virus forced businesses across the country to close their doors. The global fear of COVID-19 as cases around the world continue to grow. I'm not afraid of the media. Why should anyone listen to the media? Who are these people? What makes them experts? What have they ever accomplished? They criticize me for even trying to find a way forward because it's easy to criticize from the sidelines when you risk nothing and do nothing. But we need to fight this thing. Instead of panicking, let's find solutions. Is it feasible that UFC could go off in a month? I don't see how. Three fight cards have been announced in Jacksonville. On our way to Jacksonville, baby. If the UFC or any of these organizations want to go to Florida, that's a recipe for disaster. No matter how hard you try, you can stop us now. I've also secured an island. We're going to do all of our international fights on this island. No matter how hard you try, you can stop us now. Dana White devised an insane workaround. The UFC is apparently building a facility on a private island that they're calling Fight Island. It's such a stupid idea. I don't really have any trust in them making it something that's marketable or cool. We're going to do everything above and beyond to make sure that everybody is safe. He's saying his fighters will be taken care of. However, White does not care if there are sacrificial lambs for the betterment of business. The media said I was risking people's health to line my own pockets. I didn't do this so I could make more money. I have plenty of money. I did this so my fighters could make money and my employees could continue to make a living and feed their families. You can see that no expense is spared as far as making sure that we're safe. Will you be willing to pay pay-per-view money for something that shouldn't even happen? Our events were successful in every way, shape, and form that an event can be successful. I'm proud of my crew. We pulled this thing off. That's what we've always done, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Even if you believe they're taking all the precautions, it's still a very high-risk scenario. There's just no way to completely eliminate the risk that someone could get sick. The media are not in the news business. They're in the clickbait business. They think negativity sells and gets clicks, so that's what they deliver. Negativity is their product, but I'm not going to let that stop them. Anytime there's great success, it's surrounded by negativity. But here's the reality. None of the media people know anything about this business. A lot of people did not want this to happen. But what we're really good at is proving people wrong. That is what we do at the UFC.